Hello everyone and welcome to Metal Gear Online Declassified, a series where I'll be talking about everything there is to know about MGO3, including weapons, items, and even some mechanics. But since the game isn't out, I'm going to be focusing on a few things that were shown in the, in the TGS demos. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and look forward to other videos in this series. But let's get right into it. The first thing up is the buddy system. The buddy system is much different than it is in MGS5. It is a buddy system that has been adapted to a multiplayer game from MGS5 single player. So it's more similar to that, but it's also similar to Battlefield Squad System or Medal of Honor's Fire Team. Now, the way the buddy system works, it lets players link up to another, basically forming a bond, and you make that bond by saluting at each other or by holding R3. Also, you can change your buddy link at any time by just saluting at another player as well. This lets you be connected to this other player, sharing information with each other at all times. This type of information can vary, but what, from what we've seen, the biggest thing that you can do is see where your buddy is aiming at by a blue laser. Being able to know where your buddies are aiming at gives you a lot more tactical advantages. It lets you coordinate better and it lets you plan out what you're going to do beforehand. Or at least know that you have a buddy watching your back. The way you know who you're linked up with is shown by this icon. This icon also has a little uh, meter that apparently when it fills up lets you do other uh, unique abilities that are with a buddy only. This can vary, but the one thing we know that does work is the wormhole. The wormhole is an item that allows you to teleport to your buddy any place on the map. Doesn't matter where they are. But once you have the wormhole ready, you can use it and it'll teleport you to your buddy's location. I'm guessing that the meter is mostly for that, but there may be other things that we don't know yet. The icon for the buddy system also gives you information on where your buddy's location is, what they're doing, whether it be standing, crouching, shooting, among other things. This allows for much better teamwork and coordination. Hopefully people actually take advantage of this and use it, which it probably won't happen. But you know, it's the thought that counts. You can also respawn on your buddy, again similar to the other games that I mentioned previously. This provides many tactical advantages, especially when used together with the wormhole. You can really make, change the outcome of a match if it's used correctly. So what do you think about the buddy system? Is it balanced or is it not? Explain why. The way I think it is, I think it's balanced because of the tactical nature of it. If you use it right, you can really change an outcome of a match and put pressure on the enemy team especially since the enemy team will probably have it too and since it works in pairs of two that makes it even more advantageous when using the right hands the, the buddy system can be devastating but anyway that's what I think let me know what you guys think anyway this has been the first episode of MGO 3D classified the next episode I'll probably be talking about unique characters the only ones that we know of are snake and ocelot so I'll be going over their abilities and what they can do and these are gonna be short videos so it gives me time to make them so hopefully you guys will enjoy this is gonna be a fun little thing that I can do until MGO 3 comes out so uh, anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Phantom Pain and Metal Gear Online videos